Hello, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I was checking out someone watching YouTube to see how they did against this boss. And they were having a lot of trouble, but they seem to be a do something that I missed. I missed. Do you remember I tried to throw a fireball at this? I don't think it was at this level, I think it was a bit lower down. And if that goes up, I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go in here and go down the ladder again. I'm going to go back down this ladder. Not ladder, staircase. And there seems to be something they can, that you can do here. Which is kill those guys. But this bit here, if you are carrying a torch, it seems you can do something. As soon as I saw that they could do this. I stopped, so I don't know what happens after this, but I'm assuming something happens with the windmill here. Let's watch, shall we? Oh, that is pretty. I like that. Uh, does it break after that? No, it doesn't break after that, but it does stop working. Okay. Does that stop the poison churning? It may well do. It may well do. Let's get another torch. Because I remember where the guy was. There was a path beyond his ladder I couldn't get past. So I'm wondering if you can burn that as well. And get past Vern. No, I, I was going to do something for us and then just didn't. Oh well. But, I think that might do something that will be helpful for me. So, now the windmill stopped churning, maybe that will stop the poison. Now, because we've killed a whole bunch of enemies so many times already, they basically stopped spawning. Because <laughs> I got so stuck on this area. I may as well just go back to the bomb vat and just find my way back to the boss and see what's changed. Like, maybe it'll stop pumping the gunk or whatnot. We can hope. It might not do that. I really hope it does, though. I really hope it does. Because this boss is a pain in the ass because it hits so hard, you get poisoned, and it heals from the poison. Okay. I thought there'd be, that would be something you could do. Because that is just evil, even for this game. That is just beyond evil, honestly. That's just like giving you an unwinnable fight. So... Ah! Right, I went the wrong way. Because the gunk that was here is now gone. So, that's a good omen, isn't it? That is a good omen. Okay. That's good. Thank God for that. So these lot have stopped spawning. I think she's still there, is she? Yeah, she's still spawning, okay. Kill that bitch. Pick up the desert sorcerer's skirt. Ooh, a skirt. Let's try that on. Sounds nice. These Tessadora trousers. Where's this skirt? Do you think it suits me? No, I don't think I've got the legs for it. Okay. Put them back on. Right. Because I might need additional souls. Yes, yeah, so that poison's gone now. Jester Thomas? 
Is that an NPC? That seems like it's an NPC. Because he specifically shows up after you deal with the poison. Did you just try and shield bash me? You're an arse. So... There is someone else who's put the sign down there. And there's an item. Nice. What's this? Poison stones. Haha. -ha. Okay. Uh. You know what? This is an NPC somewhere, isn't it? Because this is like... Yeah. This is an NPC someone. So let's try it. I'm willing to do an NPC someone. Okay, Thomas. You and me, we're going to go wreck this bitch now. Okay? We're going to go destroy her. Now, he seems to have a lot of pyromancy on the go. So... Let's use a Radiant Life Gem. Why do I only have three Estus Flasks? I thought I rested the bonfire. Did I forget to do that? No way did I forget to do that. Seriously? Did I honestly forget to rest? Okay, yeah, this is much easier now. Now she's not healing. This is actually doable. Okay, I don't even need to break someone, Jester Thomas. Thomas isn't even required. This is easy now. This is actually... Oh my god, my weapon's at risk. Uh, okay, I'm just going to let Thomas do the work. And now I'm going to use my pyromancy. Oh, yeah, this is easy now. I feel bad for her after that. Okay, that was so, so much easier. Thanks, Thomas. We got a soul. Okay, that. That is like a necessity. You have to do that if you want to win. Otherwise, that is not really even close to doable. But now we've made it. And that must bring the lift back. Nice job. I feel bad that I used an NPC someone. I didn't really need it. Alright. Let's leave a message. Um, hurrah for... Techniques. I don't know. Let's try Pyromancy. Okay. Let's see what people think of that. So, that made a hard difference. I, I didn't actually rest in that bonfire, so I just home boned and then. Did. Wait, how come all the enemies respawned? Why? Didn't rest? I don't know what's happened there. I'm sure I have like six or seven Estus flasks. I'm sure. We'll keep a pyromancy out because I don't want to break my howl but then have to go repair it. I'd rather just be a rest at the bonfire. It's much more convenient. Okay. So we're in a new area now, which is sweet. There's a skeleton on the floor. Oh, we're in the iron keep. Yay. <laughs> I spoke to someone who was in the in this area, so I knew it existed. I don't know anything about it. Okay, let's go back to Medulla and level up. Okay, clearing that poison is a necessity. If you can do that boss fight without clearing the poison, then you are too skilled for this game. You are too good for this game. No, not too good for this game. You, you are too overpowered for this area. You would have to be like level 300. Jesus Christ. You'd have to be like level 300 at least. And have an unlimited supply of healing items. You'd basically have to be cheating. Okay. What I'm actually going to do 
Because I'm interested in what he does if I give him the maximum amount of souls. If anything. So let's go do this. Uh, can we get to your thing? Thank you. I don't want any of this, don't think. No, we don't need any of that. So, platter. What? You're heading down after all? Well, that's fine. But if you want my help, you'll need to make me an offer. Okay, 12,000 of this. Well, really? A very generous offer indeed. Especially from you. I get such a warm feeling inside when I get the chance to help others. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, what's with this guy and all his ladder cut scenes? What the fuck? <laughs> In Dark Souls 1, there was like maybe five cutscenes, and this the cutscenes for a guy putting a ladder down. What the hell? It's weird. It's just strange. I was hoping you'd give me something extra in exchange for my 12,000 souls. Hey, this ladder's not for sale. The only things I sell are miniatures. I mean, if that tickles your fancy, you can buy as many as you like. <laughs> buy an item. I've already bought a miniature, so what you got to say? Here you are, my friend. You can have these, eh? It's a little bonus, you know, for your big purchase. That's what I thought would happen, so what's you give me? Milu Scimitar. Oh, come on. Don't look so glum. I'm trying to be nice here. You're hopeless, I tell you. Um, Garrowus Miser. Oh, I should have listened to the warnings. This place is flipping mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. You wouldn't believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I thought at, at least here in the middle of nowhere, I could stay clear of, you know, my old pals. Oh. Don't ask me what happened. Have you no discretion, me old chum? I like his voice actor. That cape and hole. Hell, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses, you know what. Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh, and, and those human statues. Who are they supposed to be? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. What's it like at the bottom of the hole? I mean, why in the hell would I know? <laughs> I've already been down there, bud. Oh, yeah. Somebody told me that the grave of, of a saint lies below here. Yep. No, not built by the king, no, no. It did back to a time long before him. The tomb connects to that hall. And there's there's something about some some rat king down there. Yep, I've joined his government. Hell <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say, maybe I should go and pay him a visit. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I should have listened. Okay. Cheers for that. Right, let's just check how, how far down this ladder goes. Does it go all the way at the bottom? Or does it just go down to a certain... But yeah, this is a long ladder. Jesus. And there's this ladder... Which goes up to this bit, which I believe I couldn't get to before. 
open this. I used the forgotten key. Oh yes. Oh baby. Are we going to see that old man again? No, we're not. Damn. I want to see that old man for a third time. He might let me join Dark Wraiths or something. Great lightning spear. Ooh. Don't be a trap. And this is... Witch Tree Branch and Witch Tree Belvan. What now? Oh yeah, he also gave me a scimitar of type, didn't he? Witch Tree Belvan sprouts amongst old growth, a catalyst for miracles and hexes. Clerics who were instructed and devised these as an alternative catalyst for casting miracles. Most clerics who are stripped of their status are good for nothings, but among them are powerful spellcasters who represent real threats to the establishment. Although not a proper catalyst, the Belvine is quite powerful. Okay, so there's another witch tree thing I got, wasn't there? Um, witch tree... there it is. Witch tree branch. A branch of the um, forest wonder witch tree. A catalyst of sorcerers and hexes. Now it is used as a weapon, but this was originally a part of a witch tree. Okay, that looks like the catalyst from Isleth. He gave me a scimitar, didn't he? So, what scimitar did he give me? Milu scimitar, that's it. Scimitar of Ladersmith Gilgan. Nothing noticeable about this weapon except perhaps the luxurious jewels and better than the hilt. If your aim is to appear dazzling on the battlefield, this might just do the trick. Hmm, okay. I've got one more chest. Magic. It's a kind of magic. Soul Vortex. Soul Vortex. Don't know why I felt like saying it like that. Okay. So. Uh. Fine, I'll climb this ladder. Jesus, that's a long ladder. Okay. Now... Let's go buy some of her. And you? Got anything new to say? Be cool, not... Nope. Your dialogue is all gone, seemingly. Buy the last three of those. Buy... No, I'm gonna buy 36 of them. Okay. I think I can get one level up. Bearer of seek, seek thing, lest this. L yes, yes. Level up. Ah, good. Just the right amount. Thirty nine more. Thirty nine more than I needed. Let's do adaptability, maybe. Hmm. Doing no, it's doing drawing. Something like that. Fifteen. Okay. Seems good to me. And. Now we can go back to where we were. The Iron Keep. <laughs> Grim Warrior Helm. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good old long game. I love it. I love it strongly. But that boss fight, if you had not, if I had not been at Drain the poison, there was no way to do that. The people trying to summon and whatnot, like, I was offering a summoning chance. You can probably get that if you have enough fire resist. I'm not going to try it now, because maybe it'll be something I can unlock that will help me out my 
It looks like this lava will go away at some point. Because there's a staircase leading there. I'm not going to summon anyone. I feel like they're actually just using an NPC summon. Uh. Okay. Sure. This looks like fun, doesn't it? That lava parkour. Uh. Oh god, this is gonna burn, isn't it? Oh god, I jumped the wrong way. I want to get off that platform quick because of the fucking fire and it didn't do me very much justice. I fucking died. I fucking died. I fucking died. God damn it. <laughs> this area seems fun. So the last area's theme was clearly poison, this area's theme is clearly fire. <laughs> Great. I'm guessing it's from what you can drain all this lava slash magma slash whatever. Molten iron it might be for all I know. I'm guessing you can drain it at some point and then it'll probably be a lot less deadly to try and get to this. But... For now... Oh, for God's sake, I have tons of jump. I told you to jump, you dick. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to be more logical here. I'm going to quit flash sweat and use that. I'm going to use that because this is messing me up. All the fire damage quickly makes me a rush and I die and blah, blah, blah. So, a tune. Not a tune. Eh, it is a tune. Um, d d d we want flash wet. I did buy it, didn't I? I thought I bought flash sweat. Didn't I? I don't know, I'm not bothering. No, I didn't buy it. I'm not going to go back and buy it. That's far too much effort. Let's just progress. We'll come back here later on when we bought it. And oh, oh, hello, hello, Sir Knight. Who die very easily, strangely, and give a lot of souls. 